The men are good. The chip, the verde. <laughs> the verde. You know what verde is? The <laughs> verde is today. outstanding, mm -hmm. Jeremy. Today, we are making nachos. Yes! <laughs> I know you're waiting for this moment. It's still gonna have some meaty, cheesy goodness, but we're adding a full roster of healthy toppers to it. We've got some tomatillos. These look like little green tomatoes, but they have their own identity. We're gonna use them raw to really take advantage of their vegetal sweet flavor, and they're gonna add a nice hit of acid to our sauce. These are the beans that are used in refried beans. We're not gonna use the sodium and lard laden refried beans today. We're gonna make our own bean paste using canned pinto beans. And every millennial has an avocado in their basket. That's why they'll never buy a house, Jamie. It's fine, we'll have great toast. We are using corn tortillas to fill the base of our nachos. We're gonna bake these guys and they're gonna make a sturdier, denser chip that's gonna help support the onslaught of healthy toppers that we're using. We got the goods, let's go back and build these nachos. Yeah, let's build them up. Our first step is to make some homemade tortilla chips. The reason why we're doing this is because it helps us control the amount of sodium that's gonna be on the chips. We do that by just using some corn tortillas. I'm just gonna cut them into wedges. Depending how big your tortillas are, about eight wedges for each one. We're just gonna arrange these on our baking sheet. We don't wanna crowd them, we wanna make sure they have enough surface area to brown. Sorry, this part's just boring. You know what would make it better? Some saxophone. I was waiting for it. I was waiting. We got our corn tortilla set up. I'm gonna give them a light spray of cooking spray and just a little drizzle of salt. We'll bake these for about 12 to 14 minutes until they're nice and crisp, and then we'll start building our nachos. We're using Mexican chorizo today. It packs a ton of flavor, so it's gonna help us dial up the smokiness of our nachos. Is this something you eat regularly? I wouldn't say regularly. Nachos have this reputation for being a calorie bomb. Where they get out of hand is the cheese and the meat component. Are you insinuating that we're not going to be using velvet? If you want to leave set now, you're more than welcome. Nope. Yeah, these are looking crispy. Do we need to do the crunch test first? Yeah, man, let's do a sure. crunch test. Yeah. yeah! Next step is making our homemade bean mixture. So in place of using sodium-laden refried beans, we're gonna make our own bean mixture with some pinto beans. Adobo sauce, this is from a can of chipotle chili peppers. We've got a little bit of chili powder, cumin, and some fresh lime juice. <laughs> Looks like refried beans. It does, but it smells a lot better. It just smells a lot more flavorful and spicy. In place of mounds of sour cream and cheese, we're actually gonna make an avocado tomatillo sauce to put on top of our nachos. These are tomatillos. To use them, you just wanna remove their outer husks. We want about a cup and a half of these. We're gonna add our half of an avocado, some more lime juice. Just gonna pick off a decent sized bundle of the cilantro, maybe about half a cup. Stems included, totally fine since we're gonna blend them all. And then just a little pinch of salt, about a fourth of a teaspoon, and we'll blend this up. Does that look right? It looks beautiful and it smells, so you should put your nose in here. Yeah? It smells so it smells good, like it smells like a day at the spa. Pour that in there. Isn't that beautiful? The key to reaching Nacho Nirvana is to make sure you're covering as much surface area of these chips as possible with the toppers. Very meticulous, Jamie. Very meticulous, this operation. And just using four ounces of this chorizo is gonna go a long way in this recipe because the smoky, spicy flavor is so intense. Of course, you can't have nachos without cheese. We are using freshly shredded sharp cheddar because the pre-shredded has stabilizers added to it that affects its meltability. The hot components of nachos need to stick together, so we're gonna broil this first. Okay, ready? Yeah, let's get those chips out. Next, we're gonna start layering on our fresh ingredients. We've got some pico de gallo here that we just lightly drained. Our fifth and final layer is this avocado tomatillo sauce that we made. In place of sour cream or 
mounds of cheese sauce. This is kind of our creamy element that's gonna tie everything together. So we're saving big on sat fat here and we're adding a lot more nutrients like vitamin C and fiber from the avocado, potassium. One final thing that we need is some fresh cilantro. Optional, but recommended. Salt bay, give me a salt bay. How does he do it? You know, like. There you go. <laughs> a recipe like this, we're slashing calories and sodium by about 40%. We're doubling the fiber, but we're keeping every bit of their indulgent nature. Can I have one now? Yes, you can dig in. Starving. Mmm. You know the front? Mm-hmm. And the, the green stuff? The green stuff. It's so good. And if you guys want to see more recipes like this, make sure you check out our Facebook page, which is The New Healthy with Jamie. Give us a like and follow along. Give us a comment about what you want to see made over and maybe we'll do it at our next fiesta.